Hey guys, Presserville Comic Book University and The Shadow, Batman, issue number three. Dynamite is killing it. Steve Orlando is tearing this up. He gives reference not only to the current Shadow comic book, uh, well, excuse me, the previous Shadow comic book, he also gives uh, reference to the current Death of Margot Lane that just came out, which, wow, way to tie in everything. I'm, I'm digging it. And that's exactly what Dynamite needs in order to get a few more people reading this comic book. This is good stuff, you know, and I'm going to do what I can to try and get you to go out and purchase this comic myself because yeah, it's worth it. I'm just saying it's worth it. Check this out. Uh, Khan, who is one of the guys who's in charge of the Silent Seven, and another guy with him, Ras al Ghul. This is, wow, this is amazing. These guys are those people, like, you know how Batman will plan things out days, weeks, sometimes, sometimes even years in advance? Yeah, the Silent Seven are the type. They will plan things generations in advance because that's just what they do. That's one of the great things about having Ras al Ghul as part of this uh, organization or the one back in Trinity comic over in DC. Like, there's just, there's so much you can do with Ross, and all he really has to do is be there and be one of the planners. I love that about this. And they're using this perfectly. It's the ideal use of Ras al Ghul. He doesn't have to be the ninja kick your butt guy, even though he could. He just has to be the guy who's there. You know he's there. He's the master planner. And as far as master planning is concerned, this gets corporate deep, dude. Wayne and Cranston do this thing where Wayne Tech, uh, Wayne Corporation, buys a certain number of stock away from Khan's uh, shadow corporations. Now, these are so deep. Like, basically, they own the shadow corporations at this point. It's a major thing. They pretty much bought them out and made them the majority shareholders. And, and Wayne is now the majority. So Wayne is now thinking, okay, here's what's going to happen. We're now going to, you know, pull this out the right way because these guys are so deep that if we actually just end their business, what happens is the, the country, possibly even the world economy, completely collapses. So we've got to do something else to get it working. Well, they're so deep that what actually happens is that by the end of the day, all comments, all commentary from the news media, all bought out, <laughs> they no longer report on this and instead... Uh, the other companies, all these other shadow companies, they've completely revived themselves so that the face companies are now perfectly fine. That's insane. It's as though uh, Wayne Corp did nothing. So all that money now is pretty much gone. Their stocks, if they're even halved, they're, he's lucky that he's able to keep half of his money. That's crazy. That's nuts to be able to pull off something like that. So on top of that, while Roz says, nah, man, you need to just chill, all right? We, we fixed this. It's good. Now, the best thing that people of our position could do is ignore this little slight. Because if you react to it, it means that it hurt, okay? So be smart. Khan's not as smart as Ross. So he's like, nope, I'm going to go and handle this. So he goes directly to uh, Wayne Manor. And he confronts Batman and the Shadow, who are both there chilling out. Oh, things get crazy at this point. Khan starts pulling some Matrix stuff, and he's deeper, and you got to read it to understand it. He's deeper into the meditation techniques that the Shadow uses, and he actually winds up taking over Batman's mind. Now, if you're stopping for a second to think, there's no way that somebody could take over Batman's mind, you have to look at the answer that was actually given, because it gives reference to the previous Batman the Shadow comic uh, miniseries that came out. Yeah. This is deep, and it's good, and, dude, it's believable. I'm telling you right now, as a huge Batman fan, this made sense. And that's probably the scariest part about this. Love this. When I'm doing my role-playing games, I'm going to have to start making some kind of an organization that is immortal, lives just, woo, and plans throughout generations. I love this. I love this. I'm giving this an A. That's how good this was. Guys, you need to be on this comic. I'm not joking. Go and check out the first volume if you can. At the very least, pick up this volume. It's good. All right, guys. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.